Hi, this is Rob Hanley with the Durham Duplicate Bridge Club on Tuesday, July the 11th for the 399er game. We have three hands for you today. The first one is number nine. Two passes to me. I have 16 high card points with four six in the majors. This is a clear one heart opening. Two clubs on my left and partner has made a negative double. So they're promising me eight high card points because they're at the two level and four or more spades with tolerance for diamonds. So we clearly have a spade fit. The only question that remains is how many spades should I bid? With a working 15 high card points, because I'm going to discount that jack of clubs, uh, I have two strong hand to bid two spades. And the real question is, do I want to bid three or four spades? So a couple other factors to consider here. Partner didn't raise hearts, so they're likely to be short in hearts. That means that I'm going to be able to try and establish my heart suit by roughing the small ones with the trump and dummy. Another thought to consider is that if my partner had nothing in their hand except the king and queen of spades uh, four times, then whatever the lead, I would lose two clubs and then I would get in and I'd be able to draw all the trump and still be able to rough out those hearts uh, with a good chance of being able to establish that as a, a winning long suit. And it's conceivable I might actually be able to make five. So based on that, I think the hand is too strong to bid three spades and in fact I'm going to jump to four. All right, so Dummy does have their bid, even though they've got seven high card points. I'm not worried about that. I would make that take out double. Uh, and unfortunately, they don't have anything for me in spades. Uh, the King of Diamonds, while it will potentially give me a discard, it's not a useful discard. Clearly, with the overcall at two clubs on my left, that's where the Ace of Clubs is. So I have nothing useful to discard on the King of Diamonds. It just serves as a guard in the suit so they can't tap me and force me to rough. So I'm going to let this lead right around to my ace. Now I have to decide how to play the rest of the hand. I can't run the hearts first intending to rough them in the dummy because I, even if they were 3-2, somebody's going to be roughing the third heart and the smallest part, like the eight is out. I have two, three, four, five, seven, and the eight can over rough the dummy and that wouldn't be good. And also, I don't want anybody roughing the ace or king of hearts in case they don't split well. So that means I need to tackle the spades first. And it's tempting to play the ace of spades and exit a spade to play for a 3-2 split. But there is an inherent danger in that. If the spades don't split well and they're 4-1, when I go ace and out of spade, the opponents will draw my trump. And then I'm really in trouble because they'll establish the clubs. I won't have established the hearts and I'm going to go down a lot. So in order to deal with that situation, I'm actually going to lead a small spade for my hand. This allows me to retain the ace of spades in my hand to keep control of the suit. So they can't run it on me. Okay, there's the eight clubs. Another spade. Okay, so the spades have split two, two, or three, two rather. So the only outstanding spade is the queen of spades and it's a winner. And actually I'm not in any rush to force them to take it because I want to be able to rough out these hearts. And great, the hearts have split. There is one more left uh, and it's bigger than my five. So I'm just going to rough this. Now, the, king, the hearts are established. Uh, the jack of clubs goes to the king, and I have two trump, and there's only one trump outstanding, so I'm just going to play a trump, force them to take the queen. Now the rest of my hand is good. I'm going to rough this, hash my winning hearts. And a club to the king. So I managed to take 10 tricks there. Uh, and if you think about it, the King of Diamonds, other than being a guard on the suit, wasn't actually that useful to me. And I managed to make four spades on a working three count for my partner. So that should get you to start thinking a little more aggressively and pushing to game on that. So we're gonna pause for this. So 
so we can swap to switch the <laughs> directions for the next hand. All right, we're back, this time with hand number 14. As you can see, I have a really nice hand, 4702 distribution. Uh, I only have 15 high card points, but I have one spade loser, two hearts, and a club. That's four losers. Not quite strong enough to open two clubs using losers, but it is strong enough to open a heart and uh, get excited in the bidding after that. So let's start with one heart and let's see what happens. Two hearts from partner. Great. Uh, so we have uh, at least a 10 card heart fit. There's a three diamond bid on my right. Uh, strangely, that's good news because it means there's less chance that my partner has a useful honor in diamonds, or a, not useful for me, but a uh, big honor. Um, am I going to four hearts? Yes, I am. Uh, am I interested in slam? I certainly am. So the way I'm going to do uh, to show my, my slam interest here is I'm going to bid three spades. Now that's a Q bid. And my partner knows that I'm looking for slam here because it's beyond three hearts. So I've already forced the game effectively. Why would I bother showing the ace of spades unless I was looking for more than four hearts? Okay, four diamonds on my left and partners bid four spades. So uh, I like that the robot on my left sitting south has raised diamonds because again, it means there's less chance that my partner has any uh, honors wasted in that suit. My partner's bid four spades, which is interesting. Uh, I've shown the ace or king and my partner has bid it beyond game. So they're saying, yes, they're interested in slam. Uh, and based on my having the ace and the king, they must have a singleton spade. So that's quite interesting. Um, now, normally you don't bid four no trump when you have a void. But I think I'm going to anyway here because I need to find about out about key cards for hearts. And I'm going to assume that the opponents have everything in diamonds. So partner has two key, key cards and they have the queen of hearts. So strictly speaking, they could have the ace of clubs and the ace of diamonds and the queen of hearts. Or they could have, in a best case scenario, the king and queen of hearts and the ace of clubs. Am I going to six? Obviously I'm forced to six at this point and I would happily go there anyway. I have at least a 10 card fit, even if it came down to a, a, a finesse sixes looking like it's ice. Um, the real question is whether or not seven hearts is there. So it's kind of awkward. How am I going to go looking here? If I bid uh, six clubs, that kind of promises the ace, not the king. And I'm not sure that it would give a clear message to my partner. So instead, I'm actually going to cubid the opponent's suit at the sixth level by bidding six diamonds. And this must say, partner, I'm looking for seven hearts. I'm not worried about diamonds at all. Uh, can, you, can you find an excuse to bid the grand? And they have. Huh. So partner has the perfect hand for me. They have the king and queen four times of hearts. So we have an 11 card fit. We have no losers in hearts. I have no club losers, the ace and the king, and I have the ace, king, fourth of spades opposite a singleton. And partner has nothing wasted in diamonds. So this is looking like it's going to be a piece of cake here. I'm going to take that. I'm going to draw two rounds of hearts. And of course they split two zero. And everything else is, is a winner. So I'm going to rough those two spades with the hearts and dummy. And the rest are winners. So as you can see, ace of clubs opposite the five, the stiff king of spades at this point is a winner and I have all the rest of the trump. So I'm just gonna claim. Um, if you manage to find six hearts on this hand, you've done really well. If you managed to find seven, you did fabulous. Uh, well done. Uh, all right, let's move on to the next hand. This one is number 16. Partners open a diamond. I have a, a four card major. I have nine high card points flat. Very standard one heart response here. 
one spade from partner. Uh, my hand really isn't getting any better at this point. I'm just going to bid one no trump. That limits my hand to five to nine or six to nine high card points and says I don't have four spades. Oh, okay. So partners bid their spades again. So if they showed four spades when they bid one spade, when they bid two spades, they showed five. So when does partner open a diamond when they have five spades? They do that when they have more diamonds. So partner has five spades with six or more diamonds. Now it's worth noting that they did not reverse on this hand by jumping to two spades. So they don't have uh, a huge high card point hand. So they're not up in the uh, 17 plus high card point range. Uh, so it's, it's, it's not a forcing bid, strictly speaking, but it is showing five spades and six diamonds. Now looking at my hand, we do have a spade fit uh, and I do have a diamond fit with partner. My queen of diamonds is now looking really important and my king of clubs, it's not generally a bad thing. I think I'm just going to jump to four spades on this on the basis of the double fit in spades and diamonds. So partner's playing this and the robot has led the king of spades. Kind of a strange lead considering that my partner would normally have the ace of spades. Uh, I know the robots like to do this with a singleton honor. I don't recommend it. Uh, you should be looking to tap, like force the declarer to rough. Uh, you shouldn't be drawing trump for him. So the king of spades allows my partner to draw the trump. And even though they are 4-1, uh, my partner has five to start with, so they can afford to draw all the trump. Now they're going to cross over to the King of Clubs, finesse and diamonds, and potentially they could take all the rest of the tricks. Okay. However, at this point, uh, the rest of the tricks are ours. So we'll actually take 12 tricks. So you can see all the diamonds are good and the spades are good. So I'll just claim that. Uh, interesting hand, uh, and as I said, the robot led the stiff king of spades, strange lead. Uh, don't recommend you be doing that kind of thing. Normally the ace would be in my partner's hand and she would be looking to finesse from my hand to her hand and into that singleton king of spades, getting the bad news when that happens. Uh, instead, they should just be leading a club uh, or potentially the ace of hearts. I know normally you don't lead an unsupported ace against a suit contract, but uh, my partner's hand is wildly distributional and uh, the defense should be trying to force them to rough uh, with the long spade hand. All right, that's it for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks.